Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing fantastic. And today, we're going to be taking a look at another subscription box from Monthly Knife Club. But before we get into it, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and ring the notification bell so you do get notified when I upload new content. And with that, friends, let's do it. All right, so we are back with Monthly Knife Club. And as always, if you are interested, and you should be for this particular subscription service, I will have a link to them in the description box of this video. They are a monthly uh, subscription service that, you know, hey, they deliver knives to you every month. What could be better than that, right? We love that. Plus, as you guys may or may not know, they do help out, help out your boy. They send me some knives to review, and instead of reviewing them, I kind of get jealous over them, and I give them away to one of you guys in the comment section. So yeah, we're gonna see what we got from them. Stay open. Stay open. There you go. All right, and as always, we get a card, a card here from Monthly Knife Club. And the boxes that you can choose from is, you know, are the advanced plan, the premium, the ultimate. And then if you just want the knife, they have a standard name brand knife box. They have a tier two name brand knife plan, and they have a Onyx collector's plan. Now, these are all at varying different price levels, which go down in the, uh, you know, check them out on the, on the internet. And uh, go to their website, and you can check out, and you can see which box fits your budget and how much you want to spend, because that's really what it comes down to. And let's see on the car here we got welcome back once again monthly knife club members we missed you let's get to it this month's advanced and we do get the advanced plan so we get the pretty much the cheapest box that they offer but they say the value in this month is 102 dollars 88 so we love that right and i can't remember how much we paid for it okay i'm not going to read this we're just going to start looking at what we got here Ooh, man, that looks cool. Okay, so we got something from, from Rothko. It's a two-person Polar Shield emergency blanket manufactured exclusively for Rothko. And I've got several, I've got several of these from several different, you know, manufacturers and stuff. And it's just a, like a Mylar type situation going on that you can wrap yourself up in it and it reflects a lot of your own body heat back to you. And you can use it also for, you know, if you're caught in the rain, you can use it for that too. There's all, actually, there's all kind of uses for these, but, you know, this is what we got, and it is 96 by 60, so yeah, pretty, pretty decent, pretty decent size, you know, so yeah, this, this is something that's a welcome addition to anybody's particular kit, we'll put that right there, and we got some knives, we'll go ahead and get everything out, because if it's a knife subscription box, you gotta have knives, right? And let's see, let's go ahead and check out this one that we can see, this is a Smith & Wesson, pocket knife multi-tool has three hex wrenches a flathead screwdriver and a hydration tool please tell me the hydration tool is not like a can opener because that's going to be kind of lame but there you go really really nice i like the the black and the uh, brass let's open this bad boy up and see what we're working with see if i can cut myself well let's see do i have my scissors oh i do have them i'll be right back okay so if you're a fan of my channel, which you should be, you should be, uh, you notice I'm, everything looks different. The camera angle's different, the lighting's different. Well, I'm gonna get to that at the end of the video, so stick around. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about what's going on, because a lot, a lot has been going on. So this video is gonna have some talking at the very end. I'm gonna fill you guys in on what's been happening with me and, and everything, all that good stuff. So if you care, and you should care, I mean, why not? Don't, don't be a jerk. Don't be a jerk. It's not fun. All right, we'll take our little protector off there. Okay. Okay. It's very, very lightweight, very skeletonized, as you can see. Hopefully you guys can check that out there. Very, very small. Got a bottle, got a bottle popper at the, at the tail here. But how you grip this thing is going to be the deal. It's not the most comfortable thing to have in your hand, you know. But, yeah, it's all right. I mean, the frame, the frame itself locks the blade in place. 
And <laughs> weirdly enough, I mean, oddly enough, you do have a little pocket clip. I don't know if that pocket clip is going to show up or not, but yeah, we do have a pocket clip on there. But I mean, it does look cool. I mean, I can see the, since the can opener there is on the bottom, I can see this getting caught on everything in your pocket. But yeah, not a, not a bad little little blade. We'll have to see what they say in the book about the price and, and all that kind of stuff. But this is just going to be something that you put in your pocket, you know. And let's see, we do have some markings on here for some hex heads. And we got a 4mm, a 5mm, and a 6mm. And uh, we do have a taper down on the part of the bottle opener here that could be used as, as a little flathead screwdriver. Let's see, I don't know if you guys are going to be able to see that or not because, like I said, I've moved, I've changed up my how I do stuff here and I don't know how good that's going to show up or not. It may not. Hopefully it will. But yeah, right here, you have, you have your little tool here for your three hex heads. So yeah, all right, not bad, not bad. We, we love getting... We definitely love getting little pocket stuff like this, but we got, let's see, which one should we do? Which one should we do? We got a bare edge. Bare and sun. Ooh. Uh, Daburu. Daburu Japanese folder. Bamboo dragon. Ooh, I want to get into this. I like this kind of stuff. Just because it's different. You know, it's something that, that I don't get all the time, and I like getting this kind of stuff. It's really, really cool. Let's see. Hopefully, hopefully this is going to be something cool. I say that now and watch it be a dud. All right, all right. Is that some, is that really some bamboo action we got going on here? Man, what is that? What is that noise? Oh, there's a little hand coming through my door. And she doesn't know that I'm making a video right now, but that's okay. But it says it's got a bamboo, bamboo scales, and it's really pretty. So... Yeah, it does look like it does look like that's bamboo, so that's really cool. And it's got like a, a burn in here of a of a dragon, it looks like. Okay. Okay, now what is this? How do you open this? Oh man, that is a cool looking blade. Okay, there's no lock. You just put your thumb on the top of this piece right here to keep it open. Or, you know, when the knife, when you articulate it and get it out. You do like this right here. And you just push down on this when you got it in your grip. And it kind of keeps it, keeps it open and keeps it from closing. I don't know how I feel about that. But, you know, it, it works. I mean, it's not a lock. But, you know, you probably don't need it. But the blade, it's very, it's very old looking. How about that? Like it has like almost like pitting up in here at the top where it's filed down it almost has like some some carbon scarring on it real interesting looking blade very interesting looking blade i really like it it's really cool it definitely looks like it's like it's old right like it's like it's an old blade hopefully that shows up good and of course it's from china obviously oh okay so we got that blade profile and we got a little a little pointy a little stabby stabber there so we got two blades and this one's really stabby stabby. That that one right there can I wouldn't want to get hit with that. And it's got the same weird, like old I don't know, other than to say like a just an old weathered, rusted. It's like when you find an old piece of rusted metal and you hit it with a with a wire brush and you clean it up real good, it'll have all that pitting from the rust. That that's that's how that looks. Really, really cool. I like that. Let's see, yeah, and, and, and the way this, this deployer is, and they're not, it's not really so much of the, of the deployer that it's just these two pieces of flat metal here on the top. Hopefully that, hopefully you guys can see that. And you can, you can press on the, the, the radius end and, and you can get the blade to come out and then you can articulate it all the way around with your thumb, although it's not the most comfortable thing to do, but you can do it. Like I said, there's no lock to speak of, so it's not bad. You know, it's it's different. It's definitely something different. Def you know, it's definitely something you know outside of what what I currently have in my collection. So yeah, I like stuff like this. Really cool. We'll have to read about that. I'm pretty sure they, that they you know talk about it a little bit, a little bit more in the uh, in the monthly book. So yeah. All right, and finally we got something from Bear Edge, and this looks like a traditional type situation going on here. 
and this is just a black has black scales and then the the tail here that it's kind of attached to on both sides is this dark red really looks good it's got a shallow pocket clip we have a flipper tab deployer deploys nice and smooth it does have a liner lock and we do have two two thumb studs and you can get it out either way wait a minute does it have an assist oh it does have an assist we have we have a little bit of an assist so it does come out it comes out really well so yeah having that assist definitely definitely helps and i say that now for some reason i can't get it to break there we go all right all right so let's see what we got we got some jimping up here and on the scales and on the blade and then going down the back end of the knife here we do have some texturing right here that's in that little red that little red section and we do have a a, a place you could lash on the end here a little shallow pocket clip which is nice not bad this is this is something that I would say is like a traditional size, right? Like a well, outside of something, let's see what we got here. Like this. So this it's kind of this, you know, it's bigger, but it's not that much bigger. And it's let's see. Let's see what we got here. Here here's your your traditional. Yeah, it's a lot bigger, but still, it's not too big. I guess that's that's the the point here is that it's not too big. Yeah, you just needed to run it out a couple times. Yeah, very nice. And I do like the I do like the blade profile. Blade profile is really nice. Really good looking knife. You know, I, I dig on the black and the red. You know, it looks really really cool. Okay, Bare Edge. I think I have heard of this company before. We'll have to see. Let's see what we got in the card here. Okay, so we got a two person. Okay, they call this. Oh, I didn't even see that. It's right there on top. Duh. But this, this blanket up here on top, it says it's for two people. 96 by 60. Well, that would make sense. That is that is a real big that is a real big blanket. Okay, so that is made for two people. Uh, let's see. It says it's uh, not only is portable emergency blanket large enough for two people, it reflects 90% of the body heat to protect you from the elements. Uh, it's a great survival item to have wherever you go. Up next, we have the combination multi-tool folding knife from Smith & Wesson, this little guy right here. It says this compact tool is 5.5 inches overall with a 2-inch blade made from stainless steel. This knife features a lanyard hole, three hex wrenches, flathead screwdriver, and a bottle opener built into the frame, which we found all that. So, yeah, we is smart. We found all that. All right. Let's see. Representing a traditional Japanese style. Uh, let's see. Uh, I lost my place. A folder. The blades are fashioned from three CR-13 steel, and the handles are made from, I, I said bamboo, right? Or is that not bamboo? Why do I keep losing my place? Yeah, it says the, the handles are made from bamboo with an engraved Asian dragon. True enough. Finally, we have the name brand knife of the month. What? The Model 61112. That's this one. Okay, the Bear, the BE... The BE-112 from Bare Edge. It says this bad rear end blade has a hollow grind, 440 stainless steel with a black powder coated finish. The ball bearing washers and dual thumb studs allow for smooth and easy deployment when the need arises. The black G10 handles, and yeah, the handles, the handles have that like that subtle gnarling, you know, throughout. And oh, I did, I just now saw this. It does have an indention here on the other side. You can reverse this pocket clip. So you can be and be on this bad boy. So yeah, that's that's really nice. Okay, and it says that uh, yeah, you're gonna love it. You're gonna love it. Made in the USA. There you go. All right. So that's awesome. So you really can't ask for too much more in a in a monthly knife club subscription box and getting three knives. That is awesome. And, and keep in mind, this is their lowest tier. You know, the lowest tier box you can get. So to get three knives and then a little blanket, man, that I think that's that's a home run. You know, for me. And I'm not just saying that because I love these guys. Nope. You guys be the judge. You tell me in the comment section down below what you guys think about this. All right. Like I said, we love Monthly Knife Club. We love these guys. If you haven't checked them out yet, and really I don't get a whole lot of new viewers, so all of you guys have heard me say that, ad nauseum, and it's okay because we still love Monthly Knife Club. All right, that's it. That's all I got, guys. Go down in the comment section down below. Let me know what you think about this box, these three knives, and this blanket 
for their advanced plan box. Would you have been happy getting these three knives? I'm gonna tell you this this bare knife is cool. Even even the the little Japanese blade, you know, is, is really neat or Japanese style blade that comes from China. Japanese knife comes from China. Can't really complain because most of the USA knives they come from China too. Whatever it is, what it is. All right, so you. Okay, if you made it this far, now I'm going to ramble. I know already that a lot of you are going to say, man, the, the, everything looks different, everything looks weird, and I agree it does. I have not found the sweet spot for my camera setup and all this. Like today, okay, let me back up. Let me just back up. Okay, in last video where I did an unboxing, I said at the very end that I was moving Moving the setup. The setup is, is, is going to another location. Well, this is the location. This is my office. We are physically in my office. Now, before, I filmed all these videos in my formal dining room because we didn't really use it, and it was nice because I had the lights, you know, that, that were for the dining room table right above me, so it, it put a lot of light right here and eliminated a lot of the shadows, so I'm trying to figure out how to combat that with the, with the lighting situation that I have going on. Because right now, I have a light like over there, which is the main ceiling light. And then I have my two lights here. I have a light up here that if I turn on, it really makes everything kind of get funky. And then I have a big LED light like over here in the back going across the, the kind of half the room or whatever. And the problem that I have with this setup is trying to find what looks the best. Because before, when I was my table, that I, it, was, it was a big desk you know, that I had. And it was perfect, but in here, I have a, a big desk for my computer, so I can't use that kind of setup. So I got this, which is like a card table, which is kind of rickety, and I kind of hate it that it's, you know, it's so easy to, you know, I don't know, it's just not sturdy. But what I'm, what I'm doing is I'm filming this. You can see there's a window right here, and I just got this put up, this, this blind. So it's, it's still, you know, I've got to get the, the, all the wrinkles and stuff out of it. But the background, I moved everything in here. You know, this, this piece was exactly what was in all the other videos. So this has kind of stayed the same. But in here I have this other shelf right here. And it's, you know, the same. It's, I think it's a little bit bigger than this shelf right here. So it goes a little further, you know, it goes further that way that I have, you know, a bunch of stuff on. Then, like, right there, that way, I have my desk. So whenever I start doing my streams, the camera angle, you, you'll probably see this, the back of this right here, because my desk is right there, and then the door's over there. And also, my, my youngest daughter just came in here because she was trying to get one of my dog's toys. So, yeah. All right, so uh, that, that's kind of what's been going on with me. I've been trying, it's, it's been a disaster, trying to get all this stuff moved into here because I had to move a lot of stuff out of here, which meant that some of the stuff had to go in my garage. And since I have moved one of the cars out of my garage, my garage looks like a bomb went off in it, right? And so I've had to kind of reorganize, re, you know, try to make sense of all the stuff in my garage and then try to get everything to fit in here kind of like how I want it. And it's still not how I want it because I think what I'm going to end up doing, I'm going to end up pulling the camera angle down because like right now it's kind of pitched up or the camera's pitched up looking down. And I want it kind of more lower. But I was going to try this out and just see how it looked. So th this probably won't be how everything looks. I'm probably going to, you know, redo all this. But let's see what else. What else? What else do you guys care about? My wife's doing good. Uh, we're done. We're we're about to start the third week of five, of of you know her treatment, and uh, she's doing really well. She's doing she's doing really really good, and uh, but of course you know it's it's going to get worse. You know, toward the end, it's going to be when she's going to you know kind of get you know shellacked with with uh, the buildup of of the chemo and then the the radiation and all that. So. Uh, hopefully, hopefully she she stays she stays good, you know, and and we can get through all that. But yeah, oh, we we're gonna get into the giveaway because I kind of skipped a week, you know, on on getting the giveaway out. But we're going to um, 
probably tomorrow because after I cut this video, I'm going to mess around with the camera setup and the lights some more. And I'm going to get into the giveaway. And I think we're going to do this MKM knife that was from their, what, their Onyx collector's plan. Yeah, it's the uh, Italian knife, right? Yeah, it's the Italian knife. We're going to get into this giveaway. And I do, I already picked out the MREs. Where are they? What did I do with them? Where are they? Oh, I put them over there. Okay. But I do have two MREs and a freeze-dried food that I'm going to put in with this knife. And I do have another package from Monthly Knife Club that arrived Friday. I just didn't, I got the notification that a package had arrived kind of late and I wasn't able to get up there before the, uh, the place closed to pick it up. So tomorrow I'll probably at some point swing up there and pick up that package and I'll do a video on that. And that's going to be another giveaway knife. So we got the MKM M knife to do the giveaway on. We have the Kubi, the Kubi knife, which is a really cool pocket knife. And then whatever they sent me that's waiting for me to go get picked up. So yeah, let me know how you guys are doing uh, in the comment section down below. And hopefully you guys don't, don't give me too much, too much uh, grief over my, my current setup here. Let's see, see if I turn that light on. Did that, did that make it better or worse? I can't tell. I'm going to I'm gonna have to watch it. But I do have a light right here, like right here, up here on this, this second to top shelf that I thought maybe if I turned it on, maybe it would maybe help. I don't know. It probably, it doesn't, it doesn't look like it's helping. Let's see. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was better to have that light on. I don't know. I'll, fi I'll figure it out. How about that? Until then, you're just going to put up with my poor production. But uh, yeah, I hope all of you are doing well, and uh, that's, all, that's all I got. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.